Hi guys, this is Sanders. I'm back for day two. Can you believe it? Day two of the 12 days of Christmas. And today I'm going to be reading The Rockin' Reindeer. Um, I forgot yesterday, so let me get, do my intro. Hello, I'm Sanders. I'm a scientist, a mommy, a cat lover, a avid reader, a wife, a hottie hot wife. Um, what else? I don't know either, so let's get started. But first, outfit of the day. Okay, outfit of the day. This is a very old, um, but one of my favorite dresses ever. This is from Zara. It really reminds me of one of the contemporary abstract paintings um, in one of my favorite museums, which is in Pennsylvania, the Philadelphia Museum of Art. Anyways, it reminds me of that because look, these are nudes that I can support and get into. But anyway, yes, a nice little dress. It's got a little bit of a balloon sleeve, a cinched waist. Um, yeah, and so that's what I have on. It's my fave, and then I have on some opaque black tights. I love these, have so many pairs of them. Um, they're from Target. And then Isabel Morant's zebra boots, literally the most comfortable pair of boots that I own, and so stylish, and it's giving Whitney Houston, I want to dance with somebody. So let's get a close up of her because they are very cute. Do we see? Do we see them? Yes, you do. All right. Um, for earrings, I have on my rose gold hoops and that's really it. My hair is a big fluff and that is by the grace of God. Okay, let's get started. Okay, guys. So today we are going to be reading um, Rock and Reindeer. And this says Christmas, the time to rock. Um, the author's name is again, not on the front. That might be a new trend, but it is by the Hammer Bay, Stephanie Moss. It is written by Stephanie Moss. So we're going to be reading this today. I picked this up at Marshall's. I have no idea what it's about. This is a true unbooking. I thought that it looked very cool with the pink hair and all. So we're going to read it. And my little one is here and we're going to read together. Okay. Unbooking. All right. Rocking reindeer. And then we open it and we have, you know, Brady Bun Squares. There we go. Usher's in the center down here. <laughs> Y'all remember that when Usher was doing the squares and he was pointing all around like he thought he was in the center, but he was in the bottom left. Right. Anyways, um, we have, it looks like a family, a family album, all of his friends and fam. Okay, let's get started. I am seeing some very fabulous reindeers here, darling. Okay. And then we have a dedication page. And now the title page, Rockin' Reindeer. And these are some very stylish and very rockin' reindeer. Okay, now, everyone felt jolly because Christmas time was here, all except the reindeer who were quite grumpy this time of year. They used to be best friends with Santa. Now something was wrong. The fame had got too much and he read fan mail all day long. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It looks like Fa Santa has gotten a case of the big head, huh? Santa thinks he's the man, which, you know, he is. Okay. Why should he be famous? We're the ones who pull his sleigh. Until Santa says, sorry, they said, we'll be on our way. Oh, look, they done packed up their stuff and they're gone. The band is breaking up. Oh, my God. <laughs> They slammed the door behind them and said, now what shall we do? So they set off to do something that would make them stand out too. Okay. This is really sad to see the crew breaking up. I hate when it happens like this. Mm -hmm. <sighs> After a little while, there came a rocking music sound. What's that? A polar bear said as he looked all around. Pow wow went the quiet. A drum went bang, bang, bang. Wah, wah, went the bass and fa la la, the singer sang. Okay. So we've got a hair band. They've made an 80s hair band. We see someone that has got on some glasses and a big tall hat that's very like, what's his name? I can't remember his name. Starts with an S. I'm not thinking of Bootsy Collins, but we're just going to say that that's who I'm talking about. Um, Scar. I'll put it in the chat home thing about. Okay, but we've got a band. We've got a band starting. It's you, you're Santa's reindeer. 
the polar bear called out. One day you'll all be famous, I haven't any doubt. Come on, rockin' reindeer, I'm taking you on tour. You won't be pulling Santa in his red sleigh anymore. And look, this one's got a star over the eye, like Jem and the holograms. Oh, and there's a narwhal, a narwhal. And aside, my children and I believe that unicorns are real because if there's a narwhal that has a giant tooth-like horn on its head, then why wouldn't there be unicorns? I'm not sure if they're magical, but there definitely is a unicorn-like creature on this earth. Hiding from humans as they should. Back to the story. And so the rockin' reindeer were an overnight sensation. The stadiums were packed and they performed in every nation. They flew on private jets and all their pictures were online. When Santa heard the news, he cried out, those reindeer are mine. Look, oh my God, they're on page six. Where they're everywhere. You? They're what? everywhere, darling. So Santa held auditions to replace his reindeer crew. Creatures of all kinds turned up to see if they'd get through. He said no to a dragon when he breathed fire in the sky. Unicorns weren't Christmassy and narwhals couldn't fly. <laughs> and look, here we have a hippo, a hippo. <laughs> a cute little alien, it looks like. Um, a, a giraffe, we don't see his face. An alligator, a sloth. Oh my God, could you imagine if a sloth was pulling Santa's sleigh? We would never get our gifts. And he said no to the dragon. I don't know about that. Dragon might have been a way to go, Santa. And then we have a cute little unicorn. Like, unicorns are Christmassy, I'm sorry to tell you. That night, Mrs. Claus made Santa a nice cup of tea. There's no team like your reindeer, she said. Wouldn't you agree? So we called a dear old friend. It was the polar bear. Help me get them back, he said, to show them how much I care. And look, the polar bears in the bathtub, like, Lord, I don't have time for this drama. You know, Santa's not being very nice. He should just say, I'm sorry for the way that I behaved. And what, can we be friends again? And I bet you they'd come right on back. He didn't have to try to replace them. That wasn't very nice, Santa. The polar bear agreed, and he arranged a special show. Your North Pole concert is sold out, he told them. Quick, let's go. So that Christmas Eve, instead of pulling Santa's sleigh, the reindeer played to fans, all screaming, Woohoo! Yippee! Yay! Oh, oh, it's Slash. That's who I was thinking of. Slash from Bon Jovi. Oh my God, I just aged myself. Whatever. Suddenly, backstage, Santa appeared before their eyes. He told them he'd arrange the show as a Christmas surprise. No one else can pull the sleigh quite like all of you can. But I want to tell you something, he said. I'm your biggest fan. So look, Santa was listening to their music after all. And he realizes that they are a talented crew. Not only can they pull a sleigh, but they can jam too. Oh, I'm rhyming. That was a rhyme. They totally modeled that reindeer after Slash. It's definitely Slash. Definitely Slash. The reindeer were so pleased. It's what they'd wanted all along. We've missed you, they said. So this will be our final song. And so, after their encore, they took off into the sky. Have a rockin' Christmas. Good night, everyone. Goodbye. And now they're off pulling Santa's sleigh, and they look so fashionable and sharp and styling as they're doing it. Little 80s, but that's okay. It's coming back. Yep. Yeah, it's going to the pages. Eh, eh, eh. Oh my God, I love a thick page, but sometimes it's a little difficult. And there we have The Rockin' Reindeer, a comeback tour featuring a special guest, Santa and his elves. Yeah. Okay. And that's the end. That was super cute. And here we have more photos. That was super cute. Um, Say, I am really angry that they had such like an iconic band like an iconic group you know Santa and his reindeer breaking up like that what was the reason what was the reason that they had to have them arguing like that I didn't like that at all I mean it was a happy ending it was a happy ending but I just think 
that they could have done something else with that. Maybe they should have discussed um, how the reindeer were in a rock band and that when they were on vacation, when they were not on tour, is when they pulled the sleigh for Santa. You know what I mean? They didn't have to have the girls argue, you know? <laughs> they didn't have to have them arguing. I'm really mad about that. Anyways, it was still cute, you know? It was cute. Um, the fashions, I think, were, you know, they were nice. They were very 80s. Um, there was, you know, a pink wig going on. Um, some very bold makeup choices, and I'm here for that. And a lot of sparkles, and, you know, again, here for that. Um, but I just, I didn't, I don't, I don't like drama. I don't like drama. So for that, you know, I don't know. Maybe that was why it was in Marshalls. Anyways, guys, day two. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. I have yet another book about reindeer. Um, so yes, if you like this book, let me know. If you were also kind of disappointed that our faves were arguing, leave a comment below and let me know and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.